Here's a variation of an old riddle. Which weighs more, a pound of cotton balls or a pound of lead balls? And what's that got to do with winemaking? Drop the device. Get away from that keyboard. Step outside into Shred World. We'll get back to that riddle in a moment. But first, you need to know that there are three measurements that winemakers use to follow the progress of their wines. Specific gravity, total acidity, and pH. These three things interact, but they're not all directly related. More like two cousins and one good family friend. Let's start with that family friend, specific gravity. Specific gravity measures the denseness of liquids compared to water. It's expressed as a ratio. Pure water has a specific gravity of 1. Fruit juices have a specific gravity higher than 1 because of their sugars. You can measure specific gravities with a hydrometer. The bulb of a hydrometer will float higher in more dense liquids, giving a higher reading. This is distilled water, and the hydrometer reads 1. This is alcohol, and the hydrometer reads less than 1. This is orange juice. The hydrometer reads 1.048. The orange juice contains sugar. If you weigh equal volumes of these liquids, you can see the differences in their weight. The orange juice is heavier than the water. The water is heavier than the alcohol. So why is specific gravity important? It's important because it lets you predict the potential alcohol of your future wine. And it's a good way to follow the fermentation process and to know when it's completed. With me so far? Great! Before we continue, if you enjoy these videos, Please support our channel by hitting the thumbs up and subscribe buttons. Hitting thumbs up means you like a video, and hitting subscribe means you like the content of that channel. Both features are free. There's no charge to like or subscribe. Now let's look at the cousins. The first is TA, or total acidity. It's usually expressed by grams per liter. If each golf ball has one gram of acid and the vase contains one liter of water, putting the golf balls into the water creates six grams per liter. Total acidity is measured by titration with either a meter or a test kit. You need to know the amount of acid in your wine. Too much acid will make the wine seem tart. Too little will make it seem flat and will be more susceptible to spoilage. The other cousin is pH. pH measures acidity and alkalinity by concentration. It's expressed by a range of numbers from 0 to 14. The numbers from 0 up to 7 measure acid strength. The strength changes by a multiple of 10 for each number. If pH 6 is represented by 10 pennies, pH 5 would be represented by 100 pennies, and pH 4 would be represented by 1,000 pennies. The glass on the left has 10 times the Kool-Aid particles as the one on the right. If these were acid particles, and the pH of the glass on the left is 5, the pH of the glass on the right would be 6. The lower the number, the stronger the acid. You're probably saying, wait, isn't this the same as total acidity? Shouldn't pH be TA's twin or sibling instead of just a cousin? 
No. And here's why. Here's an extreme example of two red wines with the same TA. The one on the right has a pH of 3.6. The one on the left So how can they be different? Let's go back to that old riddle. Let's say each of these golf balls weighs one gram. The yellow golf ball has 1.6 balls of lead inside. The white golf ball has 16 cotton balls crammed into it. Let's assume that each little cotton or lead ball has one acid producing particle inside it. It's just like this currency. The two bills have the same size and weight, but one is worth 10 times the other. The golf balls, representing acid, are placed in vases with one liter of water. Each vase has a total acidity of six grams per liter. The vase on the right has a total of about 10 acid producing particles. The vase on the left has a total of about 100 acid producing particles. If the vase on the right has a pH of 6, the vase on the left will have a pH of 5. This is an extreme example. TA and pH are usually closely related. pH is an important indicator of wine characteristics. Wines with pHs above 3.6 will be more unstable. Wines with pHs below 3.2 will be extremely sour. And if you're using sulfites to preserve your wine, the pH will help you to calculate the minimum amount needed. These measurements are important, but the ultimate measure of a wine's success is how it tastes. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe to the channel. Salute.